People often have different perspectives of what constitutes a good horror movie. Some people want to be scared, disturbed, for there to be some type of running social commentary, or even have a few laughs. But not all horror movies are created equal, and some have their own attributes, which make them great. Hey everyone, this is Jan Man, and these are 5 reasons why The Thing from 1982 is a great horror movie. Number 1. It's a worthy remake. The horror movie genre is ridden with remakes. Almost any horror movie that has ever had any kind of popularity or notoriety seems to be on the table for a remake and often seemingly for the ultimate reason to make a quick buck off name recognition. Yet prior to this remake craze that began in the early 2000s, along came The Thing, which is a remake or reimagining of 1951's The Thing from Another World, which is based on the 1938 novella Who Goes There by John Campbell. The Thing from Another World is still considered a genre classic that melded science fiction and horror, so it wasn't an easy feat for 1982's The Thing to pull away from, much less overshadow the original. But in many people's eyes, that's exactly what The Thing has done. The movie initially received a poor critical reception upon its release, but has gained a rather large cult following and has risen to the top of many horror fans, even critics, top horror movies ever made. Number 2. John Carpenter If a classic horror movie is going to be remade, there aren't many who are more qualified than John Carpenter, especially in hindsight with movies under his belt such as the seminal Halloween and other genre fan favorites such as Christine, The Fog, and many others, not to mention other movies that sway in and out of the genre such as They Live and Big Trouble in Little China. Consequently, Carpenter has become an icon of horror movies. Moreover, something that sets Carpenter and his movies apart is that he often does his own score and is of course most well known for his scoring of Halloween, yet the score he provides for The Thing is often underappreciated for its intended underlying ominous mood throughout the movie. Carpenter also often casts actors whom he has worked with before and bring a certain chemistry and charm to his movies such as the case here with his casting of Kurt Russell as the lead character McReady, who also shined for Carpenter in Escape from New York and Big Trouble in Little China. Number 3. Paranoia and Tension Not just Kurt Russell, but the entire cast, the screenplay by Bill Lancaster, and the direction of Carpenter lend themselves to building one of the strongest aspects of this movie, and that's the built tension and paranoia both among the members of the research team in the movie and the audience who also never know who the alien thing has taken over. The way that the tension rises through the final act is damn near masterfully done, such as how the team checks each other's blood in this scene to see who is telling the truth and who isn't when it comes to who has actually been replicated by the alien. You were the only one that could have got to that blood. Will do you last. Number 4. The Setting The snowy, icy landscape in the thing works very well to create this sense of isolation. When the camera pans or zooms upon this foreboding vicinity, it makes it feel all the more real that these researchers are alone in the middle of nowhere and out of luck and helpless once it becomes apparent that they are being parasitically assimilated by this alien being. It's also the perfect location for outsiders to think that such an isolating place would make the men go mad instead of there actually being an alien presence, much how the same team thought the man shooting at the dog, which had been replicated by the alien seen at the beginning of the movie, had also gone mad. Number 5. Practical Effects there's something about practical effects that are actually physically on screen that more often than not work better in horror movies. It just helps with a more realistic, gritty, and overall fun feeling. And the thing is loaded with practical effects. And for the most part, they have stood the test of time and hold up well when viewed today, though some are certainly more effective than others, but those effective ones are as good or better than effects in today's movies, practical or CG. Yeah. 
The Thing is a movie that wasn't supposed to be. It's a remake of a classic, was critically panned upon its release for the most part, and it's even a movie John Carpenter himself was hesitant to make given the previous movie's classic status. But in the end, it's become a classic in and of itself with solid characterization, taut tension, a foreboding atmosphere and setting, and out-of-this-world special effects.